Hi, this is Mr. Walker here. And today I'll be going over how to use the Adafruit Motor Shield version 2 for Arduino. So first things first, what the heck is a, is a shield for Arduino? And what is a motor shield? All right, so if we can take a look, let's uh, pull up an image here. There we go. So a shield is anything that uh, plugs into the Arduino. And you see it's kind of like a separate circuit board right here. It has a specific function and it makes life a lot easier for us. And specifically, this motor shield, uh, what this one does, well, it controls motors. And we see here that we can control DC motors. We can control some servo motors. And we can also control some stepper motors as well. Okay. And so let's, uh, to this tutorial, I just want to look over how to control DC motors. Okay, so if we take a closer look, I'm trying to connect the circuit properly. We see that there's these blue little connectors uh, where we can screw on different wires. Okay, so we have M1, there's a ground in the middle. We have M2, we have M3, ground in the middle, M4. Okay, so we'll start off by plugging one motor into M1. It doesn't really matter which uh, order you plug in the wires, they screw in the wires. Um, if you flip the wires, it'll just rotate the motor in the opposite direction that you tell it to. Okay, good. So now that we have it physically connected properly, and make sure that it's plugged into your Arduino properly as well, uh, we need to deal with some code. We want to code our, our motor. And to do this, if we just scroll down this page, and I'll include this link just at the bottom, uh, just below. And right here, first thing we need to do is include the library, okay? And if you remember what we talked when we talked about libraries, uh, you need to make sure the library is installed before you call it up, okay? So first things first, let's open up our Arduino IDE program right here. So we want to click on Sketch. Go down to include library and then manage libraries. Okay. Luckily for us, this motor shield, Adafruit motor shield, is in one of the ones here that we can just easily download. So we type in Adafruit, A D A F R U R F R U I T. Motor shield. There we go. So we want version two. And you notice that mine says installed. Um, all you have to do is click on click on it, and there should be an install button on the bottom right section. Just click on that. It shouldn't take too long to install, and then you're good to go. Okay, so let's switch back to the code section here. And the way this tutorial has it, you can easily just click on copy code. Do not click on download file. Just click on copy code, and we'll be going back and forth. Okay, so here we're just we're just including a bunch of different libraries. Uh, right now, you don't, uh, you know, it may look confusing. Don't worry about it. Um, the important thing is, is you know where to go to get this information. Not so much that you can make it up yourself. We're just calling up three different libraries here. Okay, next we want to start our call up our motor shield. And I'll just uh, uh, put that right there and paste that right there. And again, um, this is just something that we need to call up before we start our um, using our motor shield. Next, we want to say that we're using a DC motor, so we'll copy this right here. And I'll post that right above here. And notice one thing here. We have this thing called my motor. This is just uh, a, a name. You could call it really almost anything. I call it the right motor, left motor, uh, my motor, your motor, it doesn't really matter. And next we have this number right here as well. Uh, this number refers to which uh, which pins you're plugged into, okay? So right now we're plugged into M1, so you should have a one right here. If you're plugged into two, guess which number you'd have? That's right, you would have two. Exciting, okay. so. Um, I'm going to leave this as my motor now, but I'll change it later on. Let's just keep on moving on here. Next, we want to connect to the controller. Okay, so within your setup section, 
we need to have this uh, this kind of begin. So we're kind of telling the um, Adafruit Motor Shield AFMS for short, this Adafruit Motor Shield to begin to to connect to the Arduino and be like, hey, what's up? So let's paste that right in there. There's this comment here. You can just delete this if you want. This is just saying that the setup, the void setup, only runs through it once, and then the loop loops just like it's called. Okay. So next we want to, I don't know, we could set a speed. And this, again, uh, let's just copy this right here. We notice that this says um, your speed can range from zero, which is stop, to 255, which is full speed. Um, let's just copy this code. It's set at 150. And we could we could paste this into the loop section or the setup section. It doesn't really matter. Setup section just means it, it'll start off this way in the loop. We can change it up. So again, I'm going to add a little comment here, and I'm just doing that by the two backslashes. Um, just going to write, you can set speed uh, from 0 to 255. And again, 255 will be max, and 0 is stopped. Okay, 150. It's good to, maybe when you're testing things, to start off somewhere in the middle. You don't want to go too high and overload your motor and burn them out. Okay, so now that we set the speed, we need to know what direction are we going, okay? So we, to actually run the motor, uh, we need to say what direction. And so I'm going to copy this right here. We notice if we read this little uh, blurb right here, it's saying that the direction can be forward or backwards or release. Uh, release is, is the same thing as setting your speed to zero. Release just means stop, okay? So... I'll add another line right here and just say, run my motor for it. Okay, so, <clears throat> so if I were to run this program, uh, what would happen? I would just start at kind of a medium pace here at 150 and just run forward for forever. Okay, and so what I want you to do right now is to plug this into uh, your Arduino and to upload and see what happens. Okay, so once you have that, the next thing I want you to do is to uh, is to try out to run your motor forwards, then backwards, and then stop, and then even to as if if they were connected to wheels, you could turn to the right and to the left. Okay, and to switch things up a little bit here, I'm just going to rename this here. I'm going to say if I did have a, a car or a robot or something like that, I'm going to call this right motor, because that makes more sense. And if I actually had two motors plugged in, which you can try out as well, I'm going to call the second one left. And what I needed to make sure to change right here is that, well, it's not going to be plugged into, they both can't be plugged into the same thing. I want to be able to control them differently. Okay, so I'll have one plugged into M1 and say M2 for the other one. Why not? And so I'll type in two right there. Now, as I go down along here, um, I'm actually going to cut this out during on my setup and actually paste it down in the loop area. The loop area is what, what repeats, okay? And so again, we had this, initially we had the uh, our motor just going forward. And what I wanna do is, is, is make both motors run forward, okay? Run motors forward. So I'll have to rename this right motor and to set the speed at 150 and to run it forward. And what I can do here, I can just delete this comment. Um, I can now just copy this, paste it below, and copy the left motor, okay? So now what we're saying is the right motor is set to 150 and run it forward. Now the left motor also set to 150 and go forward. So now what I want to do is go backwards. So again, it's easy just to copy and paste this and then just to change our direction, okay? Say if I want to go backwards, run backwards um, for the same amount of speed. And I'll just type in right here, backwards. Oh, so you notice how this turned black. I added that extra S. And now it's blue. Blue is what the color that you want. If you have 
extra letters in here it'll be black and you'll get an error when you compile it so copy that paste it in there um, if you tried to run this it would not run properly because you'd have this um, this loop right here loops really quickly right so what we actually need to have is a delay statement right here so we say delay um, and when we were using tinkercad circuits i think it was called wait but here delay means the same thing and this is measured in milliseconds so i want a thousand milliseconds or two thousand milliseconds which is the same thing as two seconds i'll make sure i put my semicolon there and i'll just paste that down here as well so i have myself my motor going forward for two seconds and then it switches to running backwards for two seconds and let's just have them stop so i can my left motor and I'm just copying and pasting here and I'm going to tell them to release and you notice how it turns blue and that's the color I want and so this right here I'd run forward for two seconds run backwards for two seconds and then I would want to let's add this right here let's stop for one second okay so you can see, say, if you wanted, if this was hooked up to, you know, some sort of robot or car, say if I wanted to take a right-hand turn, I could set my left motor to forward, and I could set my right motor to backwards, and that would rotate my 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 robot around. Okay. So what I want you to do is play around with this, um, combine them, you know, change one to forward, one to backwards. What happens? Okay and see uh, see how that works okay so make sure that you understand that the main that anytime you're using the motor shield all this would need to be in here the things that change is the name right here and whatever name you, you use there is what you need to use when you're setting the speed or when you're running what direction you run your motor and the other thing whichever motor that you named here corresponds with the motor that's plugged into that port okay Again, if I go to the image, motor one is plugged into uh, port M1 right there. Okay, so you can plug up, plug up to four different DC motors. Okay, so I uh, hope you learned a lot here. If you have any questions, please let me know, and I'll see you soon.